That is a absolutely massive tilapia. Look at that guy. Big old tilapia right here. When you buy these from the store, they're literally like this big, it feels like. Look at that compared to my hand. Crazy thing is too, we've got a few of them. This guy is gonna be absolutely crazy good eating. I'm gonna try something completely different that I've never tried before cooking this tilapia today. We'll just see how it turns out. They're like a majorly invasive species here in the state of Nevada. They're at Lake Mead. A lot of people actually didn't know they're at Lake Mead. I've been getting them out of there for a lot of years now. And how we caught them is extremely weird. Well, I wouldn't say it's weird. We didn't even mean to go out there and do that. We were actually looking for shad and turned up some tilapia. It was just, it's nuts. Oh, no way. Holy no moly. way. Well, we caught something different. Look at this. Got my first actual pro of the day, too. 17 feet of water. I threw the cast net and let it sink to the bottom, and look what I pull up. Wow. A big tilapia. So these guys right now, they're actually, the water temperature back here, 62 degrees. So they're coming back, and they're going to start making their bed soon. and. In a few months, we actually start bow fishing these guys, so that's crazy. This is by far the biggest one I've gotten to cast net. I've caught little baby ones before, like a lot of them. These are really good eating right here, too. The bait's gonna get stuck. Oh, I got something big. Yep. Oh my goodness. I told you that spot. Tilapia. Wow. Cast net. <laughs> yeah. Cast net. We've That's only caught insane. one shad so far and we're we're three tilapia down. Yeah, that's plenty. Oh, that's plenty. That's crazy. Like they're big, like being on top of it. I felt so big. Is it? I felt oh, so big. Uh, well, those are all tilapia we're dropping down there, huh? Well, we've got an absolute ton of bait in here. Probably more than we'll ever use. And then, uh, obviously our tilapia. We've got four of those guys. Those guys are going to be good. So with this tilapia, we're going to go ahead and try something different. Something that I've never done before with the fish. I've been thinking about doing it for a long time. We're going to go and smoke this fish. He looks like he's been hit by an arrow before, too. So we bow fished for these tilapia, and he's got a scar on top. It'd be crazy if I've actually shot this tilapia before and didn't get him. So I went ahead and I gutted this tilapia, removed his gills, removed all the guts. They're pretty weird when they get this big. They get a little tricky to gut. See, there was a big pouch in there that had his swim bladder. And every tilapia that I've got always has this black skin on the inside. I'm gonna try to remove that, or at least just scrape it a little bit, see if you could take it off, but. But we're gonna butterfly this fish. Thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and cut him, open him up, butterfly him, and he's gonna be cooked whole like that. There it is, completely butterfly it open. This is gonna be ready for the smoker. I know it looks kind of weird, but that's exactly what a butterfly is. If I flip this guy over, let's see, let's take a look. Pretty much what it looks like, just like that. That looks just fine, it'll do the job. I'll probably give it some scores right before I throw it on the smoker. It's already getting a little darker outside. So this guy's gonna go in the fridge and then tomorrow he's gonna go right into the smoker and uh, be cooked. Yes, there's the fish. 
Still looks good. Stayed nice and cold in there. It's already scaled and everything. Finally got enough time to get around to smoking this fish. He's been in the fridge for a little while, but he should still be plenty good. We're gonna smoke this fish. I got everything I need kind of set up in the backyard already. Uh, this is my first time. I don't even know if anybody really smokes tilapia, to be honest, if it's actually even a thing, but you never know unless you try. So There it is, whole thing's been marinating. So what I'm gonna do, cover this guy up, add a little bit of water just so that that marinade kinda gets to get a little bit more of everywhere as it sits. Then we're gonna get the smoker ready and this guy's gonna get to smoking. Well, here's everything I'm gonna need for smoking. There's my smoker, got some wood, some charcoal, stuff to light it up, everything's here. So we're just gonna put it together and uh, get to smoking. I'm gonna use a mixture of mesquite wood and apple wood today, so see how that turns out. Another thing is I actually don't have matches. I forgot all my matches last time I was at a hotel room. Brought them to help cook also. So I'm gonna go and try a spaghetti noodle. Heard it works. We're going to test it right now. So as you can see in there, they're starting to turn white and have that little red glow to them. That's what you want. When they start getting that, that's when you know they're getting hot. So right before I go ahead and throw these wood chips in here, I was thinking about something in a way. I was thinking, you know, man, it'd be nice to have like a Traeger or something. It would. But this is more of like the, a little more authentic, I feel like. When I'm cooking it like this, I feel like I'm actually working for that smoke. But, you know, with the Traeger, you kind of just put it in there and forget about it, which is super nice. But I kind of like the process of working with these older school ones like this, where you've got to watch your coals. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it at the end. So the reason I use this cardboard here is so I don't have to stick my hands in there. Just like that. And I can throw the wood in there without having to touch anything hot. Oh. Here's the fish. We got smoke producing now. So we're about ready to go ahead and put them on the, on the smoker. We don't got real, real heavy smoke, but we're just starting it up, so. Don't want to lose too much of it, I already cleaned this off. But here we go, here's the fish. I'm just gonna rotate them one more time, make sure you got that juice all in them. Here we go. We'll put inside down first. So he's too big of a fish, his tail won't fit. I was wanting to leave it there for looks, but fortunately we gotta take it off. But there we have it. So now I'm gonna leave them there for a little while, check up on the smoke every now and again. Add wood chips, make sure I just keep that smoke going. You want the smoke, keep going. And see the thermometer there? You wanna try to keep it in the ideal range. As long as you can keep it like that for an hour or two, your fish will turn out good. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. In probably an hour or so, I'm gonna flip them just to make sure he cooks through. And then uh, we'll see how done he is. If he's not completely done yet, we'll finish him off in the oven. It's just a lot of maintenance work because I'm gonna have to be checking up on that smoke constantly so I'm dedicated to this thing for the next few hours all right so this guy's been smoking for probably an hour and a half pushing two hours probably and uh, he's got plenty of smoke on him it's already getting dark so I'm not gonna be able to smoke him all the way through and to be honest I don't want him to be dry like when you smoke fish all the way through we're gonna take him off and finish him off in the oven I'm gonna preheat to 425 just so we can cook them really fast. And then I'm just gonna cover them really quick. So at 425 degrees, he's probably only gonna need literally probably 10 minutes, 15 at most. There you have it, smoked 
tilapia. I honestly don't know if many people have tried this before. <laughs> Looks a little bit funny. I let them sit 15 minutes in that, uh, that oven. Looks like I could have done just a little bit less, to be honest. Maybe 10 would have been perfect, but I wanted to make sure. He looks good, to be honest. He smells absolutely amazing. He looks pretty good, and uh, there's only one true way to tell how good it actually is. And that's going to be, of course, by eating it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot here. See just how good smoking a tilapia can be. Because once again, I've, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody try this. So here goes nothing. I left the skin on. I'm gonna do first bite without some skin. It's flaky. It might need a little bit longer, but I can't tell. It is falling apart just right, so I'd assume it's done. All right, cheers to watching. Let's see. It might need just a little bit longer. I'm not sure, but the taste was actually like pretty good. You know, I can experiment with this a little bit more and run with this a little bit. It's very juicy still, actually surprisingly juicy. Taste test, taste test. Look at that juiciness. Wow. It's like perfect. You can taste it. It's been smoked. Delicious seasonings on it. That's a 10. That's the best tilapia I've ever had. It, you could tell that it got smoked. It has that nice little flavor mm. on the end of it. All day, delicious. We're gonna eat that whole thing. Not bad at all. The smokiness of food is almost like an acquired taste that you have to learn to like. Yeah, at first you might not like it, but it's like a lot of different foods. Some people love it right off the bat. Me, when I eat it at first, I used to think like, uh, it's not that good, but it starts to build on you. You start to like it and appreciate it. I'd say I recommend you to try it if you're big into smoking foods and like experience with it and you know, you can tackle this one. I didn't use like a traditional fish seasonings and all this and that to cook this one because normally when you smoke a fish, you smoke them dry all the way through. It's definitely pretty good and it can become better if you go ahead and put the time in to learn it. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Awesome smoked tilapia i don't know if anybody's really done that to tilapia it's not a very popular fish to smoke you always hear people do salmon trout different fish like that smoking it i've never heard of a smoked tilapia i'm sure somebody's done it but i haven't seen it yet so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you outdoors